Hi everybody, I'm Go Veer Go Home. Welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a very special unboxing. It's a brand new product from a brand new manufacturer. You ever hear of OVR Trains? How about Otter Valley Railroad? It is a store and they've been around for quite some time. But now they make their own products. So we're gonna unbox these cars and we're going to review them and see just how good they really are. Before we get to the cars themselves, I just want to let you know that inside the package, a number of stickers and a uh, keychain. These are all very nice touches as uh, there's a huge sticker war going on with all the YouTubers right now and model railroaders, uh, you know, sharing our stickers with everybody. Um, yeah, these are such a nice touch, and I did not expect to see anything like this whatsoever. Uh, I, I want to get more. <laughs> I want more of these, because uh, that's fun. And I, I usually put them along my fascia. Uh, a lot of people will do the same thing, or they have a special sticker board or a door that they like to cover in stickers. But uh, this is a really nice touch that Otter Valley took the time to add to their actual ship outs whenever you buy something from them online or in store. Uh, it's, it's just, it's a nice touch and uh, I really appreciate the little things as well as the actual models as well. All right, so back to the model itself. These are the brand new NSC 6400 scrap and trash gondolas. We've got Cardella, we've got AIM, and we also have, what is it, C, CMBX. And uh, it's a good variety. I'm gonna tell you a bit about uh, a couple of them. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna look at all the little details of them. We'll put them on the track, run them around, see how they hold up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just do an overall overview of the cars themselves. So there was quite a few road names that uh, are offered. In fact, there's about 128 individual road numbers for you to choose from. Everything from AMX, CDEX, CMBX, DEAX, Cordella, Oak Ridge, Winex, OFOX, and of course, the very famous data only black and white um, no no numbers no road name so you can create your own very very good selection right off the bat there and with the amount of numbers that they've done uh, you can build a fleet right off the bat which is great because you don't want to have to wait for several years just to build a unit train so it's a very good selection to choose from. Okay, so we're going to start with the CMBX. And we're just going to look at this one, uh, the packaging and whatnot. Uh, it's very nice yellow and blue with a bit of gray. You've got, obviously, Otter Valley Railroad, where you got it from. The OVR train presents... NSC 6400 cubic foot scrap and trash gondola. Very clear, very legible. On the top, it is just a little bit of a explanation about the car itself. And on the back, you've got the computer rendering of the actual car itself, plus the story about Otter Valley and a little QR code as well. And uh, where, where does that take you? 
I'm gonna find out where that QR code takes you. It probably takes you to the website, the OVR website, but I'll let you know. And of course, you've got all the data information on the, uh, the end there for this specific car. And then the address and um, website for Otter Valley. So these have not been opened. <laughs> this is brand new. I'm very excited. This car is massive. It is a massive car. So you obviously you get your plastic shell casing here, which are tightly held together. For zero movement of the car when it's in transit. plastic covering to keep it safe and then the actual car itself now included it looks like there are some extra bits there they might be uh, the roller bearing caps just in case you lose yours so it does come with extra bearing caps So before I start showing you all the uh, neat features and whatnot of this specific car, here's a prototype photo. So after looking at the prototype photo and comparing it to the real thing, I'm not seeing any differences. Uh, to be honest, and I've got prototype photos of all three of these cars. They are detailed right down to every single rung that is uh, attached. Every ladder, whether it be a seven step or eight step. They have the roller bearing caps, which are a very nice touch. All the end detail, and the end detail is per road name. So the end detail of this car is going to be different than the end detail of the other cars. You've got a very nice brake wheel with all the added parts here, like the coupler cut lever and uh, the piping as well for the brake hoses. All the underside detail as well. And another nice detail, if you take a look at the truck, there is a screw under there, but you have to pop that little cover off in order to actually see the actual screw to be able to remove the, uh, the trucks themselves, which is, it's a nice detail that you'll only ever see if it's upside down, but when you know it's there, it's, you know, it's nice. <laughs> For the coupler itself, this is a factory designed coupler, but these can be replaced very easily with a KD coupler. I would probably go a 158, maybe even a 148, depending on uh, what you're connecting it to, but uh, these still work really well. The real cars, the real 64 foot NSC gondola is used in the construction and waste disposal industry. It can also be used for hauling light to medium density steel and other scrap materials from scrappers to the end users. These make these cars, or that makes these cars very versatile and it definitely is uh, more of a modern car. If you're using a, if your layout is anywhere in the 2000s or or today uh, and they're right across North America uh, you would see these in quite a few states and uh, in Canada as well as the US now I really want to show you guys this detail because you don't really see this too often do you see these lines here that are added 
every so often. That's actually the weld joints for the metal when, when building these cars, uh, the real ones anyways, because obviously this whole thing is not one sheet of metal. It's several panels that are welded together. But these are all your welding seams and uh, they're right throughout the entire car, which is a really neat feature. All right, let's unbox this Cardella. Cardella has over 65 years in waste removal experience. They specialize in construction waste management, serving the New York and New York, or the New York and New Jersey metropolitan area. Cardella is the leader in waste management and is a participant in the evolution of the New York City skyline. Now this green itself is very nice. It's very bright. And again, it just looks like such a massive car. <laughs> These are really big cars. I can't wait to put them on the layout and see how they run. But uh, taking a look, obviously you've got the nice crisp Cardella print, CWSX. You still have all your weld lines. And then when we look at the ends, look at that, specifically colored blue, just like the prototype. That's very nice. Let's, can we compare the ends? Now these two might be similar. They are very nice. This reminds me of that waste management green color. Very spot on. Got all your reflective striping down the side, which is a nice touch. All the piping. And yeah, even the bearing caps turn. It's hard to see but when you have specific light on it, it's very nice. And also you can see the uh, the printing right on the truck, which again, I've never seen that before. That must be due to the manufacturer of the trucks, the real trucks, otherwise they wouldn't put the printing on there. It's a very nice touch. I've never seen printing like that on, on trucks on any of my cars, I don't think. I, not that I've noticed anyways, but uh, that's probably a first. And the inside, I don't know if I showed you the inside or not, but when we take a look at the inside, I know there's not much going on in there, but uh, Otter Valley is also doing loads for these cars, and each of them are going to be handmade so that every single load is different which is an awesome touch. And lastly, we have AIM. Let's take a look at the prototype photo for this one. Well, they don't stay clean forever. Let's open it up. AIM has over 85 years as one of the major players in the world of recycled materials. And this includes the buying and processing and selling of ferrous and non-ferrous metals with a fleet of trucks, trailers, and private rail cars. They have excelled to push the company's continued expansion over the years. So here we're taking a look at the unboxed AIM car. There's the end detail. There's your weld plates. Very nice. All the, uh, the ladders and grab irons, they're all separately added. 
And the printing, even the smallest printing on these cars are completely legible, which to me is amazing. You just have to have really good eyes, that's all. There's a lot of end detail as well. And the camera doesn't even do these cars justice because they are really nice. Now, before we take them over to the layout to run them and have an even better look at them, I want to mention that a single car is $65 Canadian, or you can get a six pack for $350. They are only sold at OVR Trains, ovrtrains.com, and you can order online at ovrtrains.com, or you can visit them in store in Tilsenburg, Ontario.
Well, that was fun. I'm going to give you my overview now on the 6400 and what I think of the actual car. Uh, I think Otter Valley did a really, really good job on these. Uh, everything they said that it would have, they delivered on. Um, and I think it surpassed what they even thought was going to come of this car. Just every little detail that they've included, uh, it surpasses a lot of other manufacturers' cars, which are in and around the same price. If I could put it in a category, it's pretty pretty close to exact rail, but it also surpasses exact rail because, I mean, technically their prices are a little bit higher. But with these, you get roughly the same amount of detail, maybe a little bit more. There's a lot of key features to this car. I'm sure I might have missed a couple, but you can definitely tell that there's a lot of love and a lot of effort that went into this project. And I'm very excited to see what they come up with next. I know that they already have plans to do the 6000 series car just like this. And they also have a bulkhead pipe car that's in the works as well. And those are expected at some point between May and June of this year. I've been following this project ever since they announced it and I was even lucky enough to get up close with the original uh, test sample and I'll include some of those photos here. But overall, the end uh, product, the final product that they're giving us is amazing. I want to thank Otter Valley for sending these out to me to be able to do this and share this with you guys today. I hope you guys do go and you pick some up because they're going quickly. They are running out. If you have not pre-ordered, uh, make sure you give them a call, uh, drop them an email, visit their website, ovrtrains.com. Go check them out because once they're gone and these numbers might not get rerun ever so make sure you go grab a couple build yourself a trash train and uh i guess i gotta work on my scrapyard now huh well i've got my work cut out for me but i'm go go home thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you again real soon